this one here. This is problem chapter 4, section 2, problem 27. Uh, the table gives some uh, hypothetical data for a number of hours of video. Um, games played in, in a day in the BMI for some young teenagers. Assume that the trend is linear. Calculate the correlation. Explain what the sign shows. Although these are hypothetical data, there have been studies that found the same um, direction for the trend. So they give us a formula here for the correlation coefficient. Now when you look at that formula, it's the sum of the product of the z-scores for, for um, two sets of data divided by the number in the set and it gives us a correlation coefficient there so to save time you can use a calculator so we can select stat regression Simple linear. Select our variables there for game, x input, and our output, BMI. Then we press the compute button. So now we can see what our data shows. In this case, it shows the correlation coefficient is that round up to three decimal places is at uh, 0.812. We also have our model there, the output, it's the BMI, okay. We use this model here to make predictions about the future. It tells us what the slope and the intercept are, and there's our model. And this is case our R. Here it was it's 0.81, so it's positive here. The correlation coefficient is the number that measures the strength of the linear association between the variables. It's always number between negative one and one. Okay. If if it's close to negative one and one, it's strong. The association is strong. Close to zero, the association is weak. So when we look at this here, we have a our R value here is a 0.81112. That's a strong positive correlation. There's a strong positive correlation here. <clears throat>